In this video, we're going to look at an example of joint variation. If x equals 10 and z equals 8 when y equals 5 and y varies jointly as x and z, find y when x is 4 and z is 15. So here's what we're told. We're told it's a joint variation. That allows me to use the formula y equals k times x times z. I'm given values of x. So x is 10, I'm told that z is 8, and I'm told y is 5. So I can use this information to find my k value. So 5 equals 10 times 8 is 80, k. Divide both sides by 80. And so 5 over 80 would simplify into 1 16. So my k value is 1 16. And I use that with the second part, find y when x equals 4 and z equals 15. So y equals k times x times z. I now know k is 1 16th. x is 4 and z is 15. I want to find y. So here's what I do. Is if I take a look, I have 1 16th times 4. If I had to do 1 16th times 4, that would be 4 16ths, which is 1 4th. And so really I have 1 4th times 15. So 1 times 15 is 15, and then I divide by 4, and I get 15 fourths. So y is 15 fourths. So we see the general setup for all variations of the same is our first part is given up the information we can use to find our constant of variation. It's the only variable we do not know. And then we apply that constant to the values given to us to solve for the unknown variable. 